Hey, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am doing my fall makeup must-haves, just my essentially my autumn makeup essentials just things that i have been into makeup related so i'm going to be talking about color combinations i've been into styles of products different sort of pairings and things and textures this video is totally inspired by mariah leonard she does really great like curated type of videos she has a very like fun fresh take on makeup it's almost like watching a like a visual magazine that's how her content feels anyways that's uh the inspiration behind making this video so i'm going to start out talking about base and there's something about fall that makes me end up reaching for more matte leaning and like fuller coverage leaning foundations. I rarely like wear my foundation matte, like fully matte looking. So I'm definitely like shearing them out, but I think I like the longevity that they, that they bring. Today I'm wearing a mix of the Influencer Foundation and the Hourglass Foundation, but I've also mentioned uh, not too long ago the Dior Skin Foundation I used recently. So these have been kind of like the three-ish in rotation that I've been using. But what I mainly wanted to talk about is kind of how I've been wearing them and like, well, pairing them with. So I have this like foursome that I have been using with them. These have been the constant and those have been the variables. So this one was actually gifted to me from First Aid Beauty via Octoly. This is a smoothing, moisturizing, primer it kind of reminds me a little bit of that mac strobe cream it's a really nice kind of hybrid product where it is moisturizing but at the same time gives a bit of blurring without being pore filling but also being illuminating this is just really laid really well under makeup or just made makeup look really nice over top of it's what i'm getting at and then this guy i know i've talked about a bunch on my channel it is the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter this i just have been doing kind of in strategic places kind of around here and here and here just to bring just like a, a touch of illumination and hydration and maybe a tiny bit under my eyes but mainly under my eyes I've been using the hourglass veil retouching fluid this is really brightening under my eyes and quite hydrating and I've also been throwing this in my purse a lot lately and using it to touch up through the day and when I find like some areas are, are kind of like separating on my face this really helps bring everything back together this kind of like eliminates the sort of cakiness that can happen so i've been really loving that and then lastly this is such like an old throwback product that i've gotten re into this is the bourgeois it's their illuminating loose powder i use it more as a finishing powder than a setting powder it's quite fragranced so if that's something that bothers you i would avoid that but this is just given like a nice like finished bit of illumination to the skin. I definitely find myself getting a little bit more bold in the fall with with pretty much any part of my makeup. In terms of blush, I've really loved an intense like merlot-y red wine kind of burnt berry <laughs> color, very long description, but I have three here that are different textures but have a color through line to them. I'm wearing today the Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm. This one I really kind of sheared out so it wouldn't be the, the focal point of the look. This is really great to build up and you can really like blend it into the skin and do like a really fun sort of like draping effect with. And I've actually layered it with this one. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude in You Had Me at Merlot. I have to go in very light with this one though, but these two kind of paired together make for something that lasts really long. And then kind of in between there is this one from CLE. This is actually one of their melting lip powders and it's in the color Desert Rose. So it starts out a powder and then just melts into the skin. It's very pretty on the lips, but I've also enjoyed pairing it when I'm wearing it on the lips with being sort of like a monochrome situation with being on the cheeks as well. So just, yeah, I love this kind of burnt red kind of look. Pixi is actually a brand I get quite a bit of PR from and they sent these highlighter duos a while back and I just got around to playing with them. This one is the Subtle Sunrise and this is the Delicate Dew. So this one has like a little bit more of like a beautiful copper reflect which has been really fun to pair with more like rusty 
red kind of eyes and then this one both sides are really pretty but this side in particular has this like really beautiful kind of almost lavender lilac leaning highlighter. So I've actually been wearing a lot of like lilac leaning highlights lately paired with deeper lips like this. So I actually have on today the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Glow Highlighter. This is absolutely beautiful. You can really kind of blend it in. And I love the way this looks with maybe like a, like an ox blood kind of lip or something really kind of dark brown like this and then this is actually newest to me this is the nyx away we glow liquid boosters and they do have that kind of celestial duochrome look but because i've been wearing them just along here and really really blending it in it's not something that is too intense so with the sort of lilac toned highlighters i've really loved pairing deeper bolder lips so a couple of my favorites that i've been reaching for a lot this one is the sephora the number 39 and i'm wearing it right now and i actually have it paired with the pixie and chloe morella lip gloss i've been wearing it over top of deeper vampier lips as well as on its own it has this really pretty warm toned reflect the sparkles are kind of nicely evenly uh dispersed throughout it but on the other hand of something more overly intense, this is the NYX Duo Chromatic Lip Gloss. And this one, it has a little bit more of like that coppery reflect to it. It does have like that red to gold kind of duochrome shift very similar to a lot of the eye color combinations that i've been doing so this actually i've worn a little bit more so on its own than over top of a lip so it's not like overly intense versus this just gives like a nice subtle reflect also deep lip wise i have pulled out the burberry oxblood liquid lip velvet again i think i got this last year and it was in like my autumn lipstick favorites video and it goes on really evenly it doesn't dry down it's definitely that matte velvet so it's very creamy and will transfer but it doesn't like crackle or anything so it's actually a really good comfortable very cold weather kind of lipstick so it's quite hydrating but also looks quite matte and then this is the most recent. This is the Ritual Defee Forbidden Lipstick in the color Ravenous. I actually had this one on in my last video I think I uploaded. And this is too kind of like an oxblood color, but it lives a little bit more, I'd say, in between these two, where this one is a bit more brown and this one has a bit more purple. This is kind of in between there. It can get a little bit tricky and blotchy, so I kind of need to do a couple layers and pair it with a lip liner but it also looks really pretty just blotted on with the finger. I know I've mentioned this guy quite a bit. This is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the color Smoke, but this has a really nice kind of cool toned look that looks really pretty, just single swipe on the eye. And I've been pairing this quite often with the lilac leaning highlighters and a bold lip. I think I've worn this with every single one of these lip options. A bit more of an everyday lip situation has been the Kosas lipstick in Undone. This is like a gorgeous kind of orange brown leaning rose tone, but very like fall mood. It leans itself to being a really good everyday lipstick, but depending on how I've done my makeup can actually be quite like a focal point lipstick. If I want a little something more than a nude, but I don't want to fully commit to a deep vampy lip, this is this is what I've been reach, reaching for. And it's just like a really comfortable formula on the lips. I really want to try more from this brand. So if you've tried more uh, Kosas products, I'd love to know. I know they did recently come out with like a foundation and then they have some like cream cheek products. So anyways, if you've tried that brand, I'd love, I'd love to hear. So this last section is going to be all about eyes and they're all kind of in a similar, very, very like basic autumn color family. Very like burnt kind of copper reds and shimmers and like muted kind of golds things like that essentially but in all very like different textures and how i've been wearing them so first up i'll talk about this combo and this guy was a totally uh, a mariah leonard influenced 
purchase and it is the flesh pot eye and cheek gloss all my other eye glosses are definitely more like clear or kind of have a duochrome multi-shift glitter to them and this one has a very beautiful like orangey rose gold look to it. It looks very pretty on its own, but I kind of like picking up the kind of red tint to it. So underneath it, I've been wearing with the Marc Jacobs Fine Wine Eyeliner, and I really like pairing these together because this is really budge proof. When I'm doing a look like this, I'll definitely just place this on the lid and kind of keep it blended down. So throughout the day, I'll definitely like do a couple of these maneuvers to like clean up any any migration. I've actually paired this guy with the eye gloss a few times. This is the Ritual Defee Eye Soot and I think it's pronounced Viseria. Now it looks really pretty under the eye gloss and it's one of those kind of like doesn't move kind of products, super easy to use. But I've also enjoyed this just on its own. I can, it can be a little bit tricky with a brush so I mainly have stuck with applying it with my finger and just doing a very smudged kind of red eye look. I'm actually wearing this today paired with some other sort of shivers that I'll be talking about in a moment, but these are kind of pricey items, but if you need something that will like last all day, this does a really good job. And it actually, because it's like a cream powder formula, it actually works really well as an eyeliner, almost like a gel eyeliner. I don't have to wet a brush or anything, but I can just, just pick it up and do like a really beautiful, simple, red um, red eyeliner. Another brand I want to explore more of, but they are quite, quite a pricey brand, so um, be very sparingly when I do check them out. Speaking of eyeliner, I actually just picked this up. This is the e.l.f. Stardust Glitter Eyeliner. I think this is a newer release. It was on like a new like product display and at Target. Reminds me a lot of the the glitter eyeliner from Urban Decay, but not as chunky and not as like messy. I feel like that one ends up flaking uh, as you wear it throughout the night or day. I've only really worn that one at night and it ends up down your face. And this one, uh, I have not experienced that. I've worn it as an eyeliner. I have it right now on the inner corner, very easy to use. Moving on to these items, they are very similar but actually extremely different. They are both very autumn, autumn screaming liquid eyeshadows but are quite different. So these first ones, these are the Touch and Soul Metalist and Glitter Liquid Foil Shadow Duos and these are actually a couple of minis. This is in Margaret and this one is in Adelio. I actually purchased a like a set of these last holiday. There was like five or six of these minis and it was just it was one of the best purchases I made <laughs> last year, last holiday season. So one side is just this really beautiful liquid eyeshadow. This one is a little bit more sheer. This one, Adelio, is way more intense. Now I've worn them just as this, but I've also used the other side and this just like intensifies these, but very, very long lasting and a lot of fun to wear. And then the Glossier Lid Star in Cub. I think this is like the most loved out of all of the lid stars. This one has such a beautiful, almost like brown, terracotta look and this can be built up a little bit more these won't get anywhere nearly as intense as these but it makes a really a nice kind of base for other things or kind of like a more isolated topper you do have to kind of figure out what works for you in terms of the lid stars because it is kind of a finicky formula and i find each one of the lid stars actually behaves a little bit differently so it's not like a consistent formula throughout the colors and then lastly i have two eyeshadow palettes which are just total total kind of oldies now at this point this one is the mark jacobs scandalous eyeshadow and this is such a really beautiful curation of colors it has a beautiful cranberry red and then this copper is absolutely beautiful so i started pulling this out as soon as it like transitioned from august to september this year and I've been, I've been wearing this copper quite a bit. It's very beautiful. 
uh, minimal fallout, really gorgeous. And then this, this is the NARS Narcissist Wanted Palette. I think this is my most used eyeshadow palette of the year. It's so perfect for me. It has really good, like kind of matte brown, several different types of shimmers, some different reds. Is this, this one right here? I think it's called Mendoza. And I'm actually wearing that on top right now. It makes a really beautiful topper. It has both like red and gold and a little bit of black and like bronze shift to it. It's really hard to give justice like as it is here, but such a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette. Well, the dogs are barking, so that is a perfect cue to wrap up this video. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I'd love to know if there are like any of your like kind of like staple colors or textures that you're reaching for this time of year, or if you'd like to see me kind of like use in action any of these items and uh, like this video, if you did like it um subscribe if you are new i always have to say that i guess anyways i will i'll see you guys in in the next one bye